Hello mga ka-learners! Today, we will be studying literature. Do you like to read? Anong mga gusto ninyong babasahin? Libro? Magazine? Periodiko? Ano pa? Reading does not only give us a lot of information, it can also entertain us and teach us lessons that we wouldn't learn otherwise. Sa pagbabasa, maaari natin paghusayan ang ating mga sarili, di ba? This lesson will tell you about the first type of literary work, the prose. It will also guide you in making the most of what you read, especially in terms of getting lessons. After this lesson, you should be able to Number one, analyze different kinds of prose. And number two, determine different lessons that forms of prose impart. Do you know what values are? Values are principles or qualities that are intrinsically valuable or desirable. They make us the best people we can be. Examples of these are being nationalistic, obedient, God-fearing. What are some of your values? The lessons that we learn from reading good materials instill good values such as the ones mentioned. They not only help us become good people, but they also help us gain friends and the love of those who are close to us. People always have stories to tell. You tell your friends what happened to you every day. You tell them, for example, what you did during the week or what happened when you went for a vacation somewhere else. But telling them one by one would be too tiring, don't you think? That is why some people opted to write down their stories instead. This way, they would be able to tell more people in less time and by talking less. Thus, the birth of literature. Literature refers to writings in prose or verse that have excellence of form or expression and those expressing ideas of universal interest. Example of these kinds of ideas are those on love, dreams, hope, and more. The stories people tell can either be real or imaginary. The same is true for literature. It is of two kinds, fiction and non-fiction. Fictional works are those that are invented by imagination. Example of these are fables, fairy tales, legends, and more. Non-fictional works, on the other hand, are those that are based on events that can happen in real life. Examples of these include biographies, autobiographies, and more. Literary works can also be classified as prose or poetry. This lesson will focus more on prose. Prose is a literary medium distinguished from poetry, especially by its greater irregularity, variety of rhythm, and its closer correspondence to the patterns of everyday speech. Examples of prose are novels, short stories, plays, scripts, fables, and fairy tales. Read the excerpt from a short story, The Yellow Shawl. He stopped at the window and stood there. A breeze was blowing. The pale green blinds very near his face were beginning to stir. He walked up the long room, and as he crossed between me and the mirror, I saw the shawl spread above him like a wing. He said, Marriages are made in heaven. Marriages are made in hell. This one marriage that shall never be on earth, in heaven, or in hell. Based on what you have read, answer the questions that follow. Number one, what does the author tell us about marriages? Number two, what important lesson did you learn from the short story? The selection you read earlier was a short story. Do you know what a short story is? A short story is a narrative shorter than a novel, usually dealing with a few characters. 
It aims at unity of effect and often concentrates on the creation of mood rather than the plot. Let's read the next selection. Father and Sons Bessie, stirring from her corner. Well, I must be going myself. Nena, Bessie, did you hear what my brother said? You are a member of the family. This is your home. Bessie, nodding towards the bedroom. He was my family. He was my home. Now, he's gone. I'm a stowaway again. Chitong, then let me stow away with you, Bessie. Take me with you in the world until I find what they call a social conscience. Sophia, you're talking nonsense, Chitong. The world is just as much in here as it is out there, and the conscience is always a conscience, period. It doesn't come in different brands like soap. But listen, Bessie. I can find you a place where you can study and work and have a room of your own and regular meals. No, not a reform school and not an asylum of some sort. Just a community of good women trying out a new kind of religious life. Very modest? Don't be afraid. You wouldn't be joining them. And you'll have complete freedom of movement there as their border. Now, what do you say? Bessie, after a moment's thought, Mrs. Monzon, Nena, Chitong, thank you for your kind intentions, but sorry, no dice. I must do my own thing, Nena. I can't just keep on staying here. As Chitong would say, my job here is through. Mission accomplished. Now I must move on. Answer the following questions based on what you have just read. Number one, describe each of the characters in the story in terms of their value. Number two, among the characters, who would you most like to be and why? The selection you just read is an example of a play. Do you know what a play is? A play is the stage representation of an action or a story. Read the letter that follows. Dear Joey, I just arrived recently from my trip to Zamboanga. I am here now in Davao to stay with my relatives and attend school this coming semester. How are you? I am sorry for not being able to write you often. I have been very busy helping my aunt out in her store. I just learned how to make an inventory of the items in her store. I'm having a great time here while I'm learning. I had a great time in Zamboanga too. I stayed with my other aunt, Clara. I learned a lot from my stay there. You remember my habit of waking up very late? Well, I just got rid of it. You see, I hated waking up early from the start, but I hated doing that more there because doing so would mean I had to help out at their farm. What I didn't know was that waking up early also meant doing more interesting things. It was only later that I found out I was left behind every time they went swimming or going on a picnic after a day's work. I shouldn't have been so lazy. Maybe then I would have had more fun. But thanks to them, I learned a very good lesson. Still, I wish we got to spend our vacation together. Hope to see you soon. Truly yours. Carlos. A letter is also another form of a prose. It is a direct or personally written or printed message addressed to a person or an organization. Read the following letter 
from the award-winning novel of Anne Walker, The Color Purple. Dear Nettie, the first letter say, You got to fight and get away from Albert. He ain't no good. When I left your house, he followed me on his horse. When he was well out of sight of the house, he caught up with me and started trying to talk. You know how he does. You sure is looking fine, Miss Nettie, and stuff like that. I tried to ignore him and walked faster, but my bundles were heavy and the sun was hot. After a while, I had to rest and that's when he got down on his horse and started to kiss me and drag me back in the woods. Well, I started to fight him and with God's help, I hurt him bad enough to make him let me alone. But he was so mad. He said, because of what I'd done, I'd never hear from you again and you will never hear from me. I was so mad myself, I was shaking. Anyhow, I got a ride into town in somebody's wagon. And that same time, somebody pointed me in the direction of the reverend's place. And what was my surprise when a little girl opened the door and she had your eyes set in your face. Love, Sally. Answer the following questions based on what you just read. Number one, what do you think the letter was about? Number two, what lesson did you learn from it? The selection is actually a letter from Sally, a black American girl, to her sister, Nettie. It relates Sally's bad experience with a black man named Albert. The passage teaches us how to have courage in the face of oppression. In it, we saw how Sally protected herself from Albert as well as how she advises her sister, Nettie, to do the same. The Color Purple is an example of a novel, another form of a prose. A novel is an invented prose narrative that is usually long and complex and deals especially with human experiences through a connected sequence of events. Visit a public library or search online and read one or more of the following books. Then take note of the important values that they impart. Number one. Abraham Lincoln by John G. Nicolay and John Hay, a biography. Number two, The Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, a novel. Number three, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, a novel. Number four, Aesop's Fables, a fable. Number five, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, a novel. Number 6, Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, a novel. Number 7, Pinocchio by C. Collady, a short story. It's time for a self-quiz. Letter A, read the selection and answer the following questions. The Legend of the Different Races Once upon a time, when the earth was still young, Bathala, the supreme God who created everything looked at his creation. It was very beautiful. There were trees and flowers everywhere. The rivers and lakes teemed with fish. The mountains stood high and mighty. There were lots of animals on land too. However, beautiful as the world was, Bathala was not happy. He felt that something was missing. He wanted to have creatures that can share the earth with him. So he created man. He took some clay and molded it into his own likeness. He placed it in the oven but left it there too long and it got burned. Not satisfied with his work, he molded another clay figure and baked it. 
he was so scared it would get burnt again, so he took it out after only a few minutes. What do you know? It was only half-baked and was too pale. He decided to try one last time. He was determined to get it right. He followed the same steps but finally knew when to take the clay figure out of the oven. And he succeeded! The clay figure came out just right, golden brown in color, not burnt, not half-baked either. It was just right. He was very happy. He gave life to his creations and decided to make more of them. He sent them to live on earth to take care of his other creations. And that was how the different races of human beings came to be. Number one, what is the story about? Number two, what important lesson did it impart? Letter B, a reminder to those fond of lawsuits. Once, two friends found a clam near the sea. They debated as to who would have it. I, one said, saw it first, but I picked it up, replied his friend. They went to court and asked the judge to settle the question. The judge opened the shell, ate the meat, and divided the shell between the litigants or the persons involved in the lawsuit. A reminder to those fond of resorting to courts of justice. Number one, what does the judge's actions of eating the clam's meat symbolize? Number two, what lessons did you learn from the parable? Compare your answers with those in the matching answer key of this lesson when you sign in to your online LMS account. How well did you do? Let's summarize our lesson. Values are principles or qualities that are intrinsically valuable or desirable. Literature refers to writings in prose or verse that have excellence of form or expression that express ideas of universal interest. Fictional works are those that are invented by imagination. Non-fictional works are those that are based on real events or those that can happen in real life. Prose is a literary medium distinguished from poetry, especially by its greater irregularity, variety of rhythm, and its closer correspondence to the patterns of everyday speech. A short story is an invented prose narrative shorter than a novel that usually deals with a few characters aims at unity of effect and often concentrates on the creation of mood rather than plot. A play is the stage representation of an action or a story. A letter is a direct or personally written message addressed to a person or an organization. That's the end of our lesson on prose, mga ka-learners. Hope that you enjoyed and gained new insights to help you read and understand texts better. To understand more, log in to your online account. And for suggestions, just send an email to the email address flashed on the screen. See you on the next episode!